Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series action figure review. We're going with number nine now from the Bad Batch wave, uh, the most recent wave of figures. This is the last one, so this will be rounding out this little series of reviews. We've got Imperial Crosshair. So I'm pretty excited about this one. I really love the helmet on this guy. I know you're getting a fair bit of reflection there, so the sooner we get into opening it, the sooner we can have a better look. Um, a little bit bummed that Hasbro didn't. They just sort of reused the same arms as the regular Crosshair, because if you watch the series, his uh, shoulder pauldron, pauldrons are replaced with regular sort of Stormtrooper pauldrons. Um, so I'm going to be trying to do exactly that with this figure. Um, but I will review it the way it is now, and then I'll change it afterwards. So we'll get a good look at Crosshair. Looks fantastic. That artwork is pretty sick. All right, let's crack him open and have a look. All right, here is Imperial Crosshair. I've, I've been pumped for this figure, really looking forward to it. Uh, despite the flaws that I did mention, I'm going to fix this thing up and make it look cool. Um, so yeah, let's obviously we'll take a look. Um, I do have the original Crosshair here to sort of compare. Um, so obviously new helmet, new upper torso, um, new belt, and that's it. So yeah, pretty much reused figure, which is fine. You know, I, I, I get it. You know, he's basically wearing his clone armor. Um, but I feel like they just took a couple of shortcuts. You know, I just love that helmet design, you know. It's sort of pre-Death Trooper. But uh, he, in fact, in the sh series, does wear just regular Stormtrooper pauldrons. So he no longer has this, um, which is what he has here with the 99 sort of sculpted into it. Um, same 99 sculpted there, which I actually have the first one, which is the sort of bigger variant, which they, they re rechanged so it was a little bit smaller. Um, so yeah, he does have that. But yeah, the backpack's the same. The belt on the back, like I said, is different. That's a new belt. There's cool little thermal grenades and stuff on the back. Pistol, nice holster there, that's cool. So yeah, still using the hunter arm, um, which I actually patched up on my regular crosshair, so I'm gonna have to do the same thing. I just ha happened to have a piece of plastic that matched the same color uh, from an accessories box. And I just cut out a tiny square and just popped that in there. So it worked out okay. But yeah, I think it looks good. I think it looks really good. Head sculpt, let's pop off the helmet. So you've got the same, same sort of pre-battle pre damage. You know, he gets caught in the uh, thruster the engine burns up all, all his face so this is sort of pre that event but uh yeah this guy's not going to take his helmet off too much because that just looks freaking badass i just love that look <laughs> it's just so good uh i think i'm gonna have to glue that belt down because that's really wobbly it doesn't look great um that's just me being a, being a pain in the bum but <laughs> yeah slightly different belt because this one doesn't have the uh Little thermal grenades on the back. Same blaster rifle. Just looks good. Does disassemble. I'm not going to force it because I'll probably break it. Um, and yeah, that does sort of slot into the back. So you get the biggest, bigger part there. And then the sort of barrel and stuff. There is a peg on the side. Where is it? There, where my thumb is. And that which will peg into there. Yeah, stands pretty well. I had a comment on Instagram from uh, Linda that watches. Um, said the ankles on hers were quite loose. And mine are a little bit, I'll be honest, but they're not too bad. Um, my best tip for, for loose joints is just a drop of super glue um, just in the joint and then just slowly move it until that glue dries. You know, don't let it sit because it will dry up and, you know, stick forever. Um, so yeah, just yeah, a little bit of little bit of super glue in that joint. For me, it seems to be that little swivel in the ball ball joint there. So just getting a little bit of little bit of glue in there and just just slowly rocking it, just while that glue dries, and that'll give provide a thicker surface and make it a little bit tighter. And uh, yeah, a little bit more stable. So rangefinder moves up and down. That's nice. Actually came out of season one really liking Crosshair as a character. I think he, he came out absolutely fantastic. 
and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this figure despite those sort of, uh, you know, glaring sort of mis inaccuracies. But again, I'm not going to be too fussy about it because I'm going to fix it. So that's cool. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. That's always appreciated. Always enjoy reading comments. I do try to get back to them in a timely manner. It doesn't always work out, <laughs> particularly later in the week when work picks up and I'm a little bit busier. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Definitely, definitely recommend picking this one up. If you like this review, please give my video a little little thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you, always.